Hello guys, welcome to my blog. And I would like to read to you also free books and free shipping, a wonderful deception, the father new age implication of the emerging purpose driving movement by Warren V. Smith. A wonderful deception. Five years after writing Deceive, Deceive on Purpose, the new age implication of the purpose driving church, former new age followers by Warren V. Smith, continues to reveal how Christian leaders, wittingly or unwittingly, are leading the church into a spiritual trap. A wonderful deception examines church metaphors, concepts, and beliefs that are essentially the same as those being used in today's New Age teachings. And while biblical prophecy is being minimized and explained away, the new science is being used to prepare the world and the church to accept new spiritual and a false new age Christ. This book explains how all puzzles pieces are in place for the strong delusion. Described in Second Thessalonians, a wonderful deception presses right into the heart of this deception while preparing believers in Jesus Christ to effectively stand against it. Some key areas address in this book how a Broadway Christianity is deceiving many in the church. How the new science will try to prove that God's is in everything. How Rick Warren continues to align himself with New Age sympathizers. How attempts have been made to discern critics of the purpose-driven movement. How the best-selling novel, The Shock, fits into the wonderful deception. Ten scriptural reasons not to be connected with the purpose-driven movement. The New Age implications of Rick Warren Daniel Plan by Warren B. Smith, B.E. University of Pennsylvania, M.E. Stolon University, a freelance writer and community social worker who was former involved in the New Age movement. He has served as a program coordinator for people with special needs, directed several homeless programs, and has worked as a host spice social worker in the New Orleans and on the California coast. He has written extensively on the subject of spiritual deception and has spoken on radio, television, and seminars and conferences. So, this is beautiful book about deception Christians. As a matter of fact, there are a lot of deception now. I will not point, pinpoint any church any members deacons of something just observe what happening in the churches what happening in the worlds there are a lot of pastors members deacons or whatever you are into just observe there are a lot of deceptions going on especially when you are when you are um they call the uh, listening to the pastors that are all that are not Christ-centered preaching, just that I I said earlier, just study personally your Bible. When you are going to the church, I know all the pastors. The pastors, as I said, is not perfect. The leaders are not perfect. So, as as a members or as a Christian, it is a responsibility. To read our Bible, commit to read our Bible daily so that we will not be deceived. We can really feel it in our heart if it, we, we are really deceived and we are really acquainted with this Bible. That's why we need to eat our food, spiritual food, the Bible. As always, we will not be deceived if we are always reading our Bible. I know some of us, we are not really good in memory. The good thing here, we read our Bible daily in our devotion personally to God. So, watch out, examine ourselves. Because God is talking to us by word. Whatever you are into now, just watch out because there are a lot of deceiving going on. So, this book is really good. If you need this book, 
this is also free you can have this to read but i recommend to you whatever uh encouragement book spiritual book that are encouragement the most important you read your bible that is the most priority this is only an instrument of this other book because the bible is really a life you can feel it when you're reading there is a peace there is a strength that come from the bible just try to read it if you cannot understand just try to read reread and reread it ask the holy spirit they will guide us and thank you don't forget to subscribe to watch to like and comment below if you like my video once again i will tell you when real christian nail down the devil will fall down Bye-bye. God bless us all.